Hi, it's Chester at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to add months to a date. So I've got a list of my book club members and I've got the date of their last payment. Next payment is due in 12 months time. Now the function I'm going to use for this is called eDate. It has two arguments, the first of which is start date. So that's the date of the last payment. Then I put a comma in and then I need to state how many months from the last payment date I want to calculate for. So I'm gonna put in 12. Now that will work if you put in 12, hard coding it into the formula, but your other option is to refer to a cell with that value. That's better because if you decide to change the length of your membership, you only need to change it in one cell. Now, because I'm referring to that cell and I'm going to be copying the formula down, I do need to fix that reference. Now, how I normally do that is with the F4 key on my keyboard. That puts the dollars into that cell reference. If F4 doesn't work for you, type the dollars in, as you can see them there in my formula. Close the bracket, press enter, and it does the calculation for you. If I copy this formula down, you can see that it replicates that calculation down the rest of this column. Now you could also use this to work out 12 months before a particular date. All I would need to do is to change this to a minus value. You can see it does that there. Also, you could use this for years. If I change this back to 12, so assuming the month's value here is 12, which it is, if I want to calculate three years on from the last payment, in the month's argument, I'll just multiply that 12 by three. Copy it down, and you can see it does the calculation for all the last payment dates. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe, and I'll see you next video.